This is just a quick update on the progress I've made on the ADM3A main PCB project. Um, if you've seen the previous videos then you'll know that I am reproducing the original ADM3A main board and it's a fairly substantial board. It's uh, half a meter long and um, about a third of a meter wide so it is a very large board. It's got around 150 ICs on it but it is a self-contained unit. It's a dumb terminal and it has the keyboard attached at the front end and all the discrete electronics required to run a dumb terminal and output video to a CRT display. I'm doing as much as I can a true to form reproduction of that board and one of the concessions I've had to make in terms of its uh, design relates to the availability of the keys. So the keys on the original keyboard you can still get them but they're very rare and very expensive and also of course you need the uh, carrier underneath. Now it will be possible to 3D print uh, the carrier um, but even so getting the keys might be quite difficult. So to make sure that anyone that was interested in building one of these could actually complete the project I've designed the board in such a way that uh, an additional small keyboard PCB can be attached to the front end and it will use these small mechanical key switches so these are easily available and very cheap and they're quite nice you can get them in different um, pressures this is a 60 gram uh, key I've uh, got quite a nice click feel um, but they're not very tall so if you compare them to the original keys they're very much shorter so while I could have put them onto the main board directly, that would have caused two issues. Firstly, the height of the keys would have been too low if this was to go in the original case. And the other issue is that I would have had to sacrifice the possibility of using original keys. Because of the footprint of these keys and the original keys, they're mutually exclusive as far as putting them both on the same board is concerned. So I went for the option to add an additional daughter board and that will ho uh, host all the uh, keys for the uh, add-on keyboard. It does give the additional advantage that different daughter boards can be configured depending on what the builder wants to do. Now I'll be providing one type of daughter board but I will provide all the uh, connections required to design uh, your own board if you want to. It's quite easy, it's just making sure you uh, route the correct keys to the uh, correct terminal on the connector. It's just a 32-way connector that uh, runs underneath the spacebar. Uh, this also means of course that you can tilt the keyboard uh, PCB if you want to and of course it raises it up to the proper height so it's more comparable with the original. So what I've been doing at the moment is playing around with various key layouts. Of course the key uh, cap information is fairly unique on the uh, ADM3. Uh, there are different key cap uh, combinations and texts that are available and again it will be up to the builder to pick one that they like and the colours for the keys that uh, are the preference of the builder. Uh, but again that's an advantage of having the board standalone and a small daughter board to plug into where you can sort of take these off and change them if you want to. And also, of course, the key that's pressed, the character that's then displayed is dependent on the contents of the ROM. So if you wanted to, you could modify the contents of the ROM to suit whatever keyboard layout you uh, decide to go with. Um, but I am trying to keep the same number of keys and the same form factor for the key layout. Uh, the keys are a different size to the original, as you can see. Um, but this is probably the layout I'm going to initially go with. As I said, it is possible to uh, change this small board. It'd be fairly low cost, and uh, it might be that you want to make your own depending on the particular layout you want for the keys. But that's part of the point of doing the design like this. Uh, in terms of cost, I do now have some of the main boards ordered. The cost is going to be somewhere between 80 and 85 pounds for the bare board sounds a bit expensive but as I said it is a very large board it's almost half a meter long so um, that's why the um, board is or the main reason the board is, is fairly expensive 
It's not horrendously expensive, it's actually coming quite a bit cheaper than uh, I expected it to. And in terms of overall cost, the cost of the remaining components should be relatively low. You should be able to get most of the devices for a fairly low uh, cost. Uh, almost all fairly standard 7.4 LS series ICs. A few voltage regulators, some low cost heat sinks, capacitors, that sort of thing. Um, even the keys and the key switches are fairly low cost so overall the, the cost of building one of these will be relatively modest. Um, much less than I had expected when I first started the project. Um, but the, really the reason for going down this wasn't to cut the cost on trying to get an ADM3, it was uh, to make an interesting project. This will be a very interesting project for anyone interested in vintage electronics. There's a lot to the uh, circuitry within this that uh, is quite interesting. And then at the end of the day of course you would have uh, hopefully a working uh, done terminal that can be used for many different applications. So that's where I am at the moment, I'm waiting for the main boards to come in, It'll be about a week I expect, uh, and then I'll post some videos showing the assembly and initial testing of the board, uh, and then the next thing I'll do is get some um, provisional boards ordered for the, uh, the keyboard add-on PCB, make one of those up, uh, and then I can start testing the, um, the system proper. I don't need this small board to do the initial testing and the first steps will be to make sure that overall there aren't any errors on the main PCB. If you're interested in one of these boards let me know. I have ordered a fairly limited number and uh, depending on the interest I may go ahead and order a second batch uh, on the assumption that uh, there are no errors. If I do find any errors obviously they'll be documented um, and then I'll correct those if I do order a second batch but um, as with most things like this there may well be the need for uh, a jumper here or there there certainly is on the original and that uh, is part of the interest of um, playing with these old uh, designs so comments welcome uh, any feedback or ideas for this project would also be welcome and uh, hopefully within the next two or three weeks I should have a working board